everybody, it's JP again with Hazard Studios. We're doing another Behind the Band segment uh, for a fitting end. This time we're joined by the lead singer, uh, Leon McGregor. Uh, you'll see him there. He's making the funny face as always. Um, I will say, <laughs> I will say uh, I've known Leon a while. We worked on a couple of projects together, um, including this one. So that's just full disclosure. Um, I'm just trying to get these guys some eyes on them. Uh, get some background for them and uh, Leon buddy welcome how are you doing all right uh, good good uh, all right yeah, I'm all good. eyes on me <laughs> all eyes are on you hopefully because I'm awful ugly to look at so <laughs> there you go uh, like I, I said <laughs> Like I said, he's the lead singer for the band of Fitting In. And uh, Leon, just a couple of questions, buddy. We'll get this started and uh, we'll see where it goes. Um, introduce yourself to everybody, uh, what you do, you know, band, you work, band you're working on, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I'm lead vocals for Fitting In. Uh, I write all of the lyrics uh lyric content um i come up with like concepts uh for like the singles and stuff and um just trying to make sure that like like there's a cohesive uh vision you know behind like uh the the ep and stuff and like it, like everything comes together as a whole uh with in terms of like the concept and, and themes and, and whatnot um and i guess i've been uh kind of instrumental with uh the visuals and stuff like behind the video that we're about to drop and stuff and whatnot okay. um in terms of like the, the story uh and crap that that's behind it so it's like um doing vocals lyrics and kind of like visionary sort of con like conceptual guy person thing you know okay i, I thought i mentioned it later but since you're that's about, about it, it uh, <laughs> you mentioned you guys are doing a music video uh, we talked with opie just a couple of weeks ago when he mentioned yeah. that, he mentioned that you're doing the last shoots uh sometime recently is that right yeah, we wrapped uh, Friday, last Friday, I think. Okay. And so far, I, th I think the plan is to, uh, don't quote me on it, but <laughs> what I'm hearing is the, it's supposed to it's supposed to come out like July 1st is what the guys are talking about so far, but uh, that may be subject to change. Right. And I know I don't want to give anything away because, you know, you're waiting for the 1st of July to drop everything. Um, but can you give us an, maybe an idea of what the video might be, might entail? Um, is there a story or is it just kind of a playthrough video? How, how does that work? Well, um, we uh, initially, like, we were talking about just doing, like, a playthrough but uh over time like we pretty much agreed that like a, a playthrough video for a seven minute long song is kind of uh right we, we we basically just decided that you need to have a little bit more substance to get you know what i mean to get through like a seven minute long track mm -hmm. so uh i kind of it, it wasn't just me solely um like we bounced a lot of ideas back and forth and stuff like that and trying to figure out like what each of us was comfortable with in a video um but yeah like gradually we had just decided like we need to do this have a story portion along with the playthrough portion to have more you know give them more substance more uh just more going on there in terms of like the visuals and themes and concepts and and whatnot and as far as like what you're asking about like 
a teaser. It's basically just like, um, it's kind of like a creature that's sort of like my own making in a sense. It's kind of like, I've always been sort of obsessed with like, uh, uh, banshees and like rates and stuff like, like the ring rates, uh, from Lord of the Rings and, uh, like spirits and ghosts and aberrations and um and like like witches especially has been like a big thing so it's like uh i don't know like i've I've always had like sort of like a weird fascination with like uh things that are like have that slightly masculine and like energy and also the feminine the feminine energy as well as like a like a weird coagulation of both so it's kind of like uh Oh, what you call it? Uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> I just forgot. Uh, and, and androgynous, where it's like sort of like like androgyny. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so that's kind of like, huh? But uh, I, I I think I interrupted you or something like that. But um, uh, but yeah, it's basically like kind of like an adro- like an androgynous creature or whatnot. Something that's like rejected by both uh sexes or whatnot um and it's kind of like this weird creature of my own like weird making like it's not exactly a banshee not exactly a witch uh opie has been taking it to calling it like a like an entity or whatever so i guess that's what we're rolling with for now but i don't know (laughs) well you mentioned banshee um is that something that played into the title for your song Banshee Nocturne. Is that a, is that oh a- yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, just once again it just plays into that weird uh obsession that I've had of like I I just think banshees are are badass and like cool and like uh also the the other thing uh about like the, the backstory into the video is like because like Banshee Lord, whenever you read about it, um basically they're kind they're kind of like these weird misunderstood beings where it's like uh they they scream uh and whenever you hear them scream uh they kind of like inadvertently place a curse on not not you not not like the individual who hears the scream but the person that the individual who hears the scream who they love the most or like what they the the person that they care about the most like their next of kin or a loved one you know what i mean someone that they cherish the most is basically doomed to die essentially um and so yeah that that was just the thing that fascinated me and you'll see that we worked that into the video a little bit um and yeah I think that's it. <laughs> I okay. know my mind's like all, all over the place. <laughs> that's all right. Um, you know, you mentioned uh, I mentioned a second ago the song Banshee Nocturne. I know you wrote the lyrics for it and the content. Um, is there something behind those lyrics? Like, are you telling a story, or is it more so like an allegory? How's how is that song constructed? Um, I think it's mostly just. Uh, f- from what I can remember, it's mostly just like, uh, dis- like descript- descriptive, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just, for the most part, I'm just describing like, uh, the, the creature itself or the, the being itself and just, uh, um, you know, describing like, uh, the, the doom and like despair that it brings along with it i think there's a line in there that's like uh uh something about like the the foul winds of the moors or something like that which is like uh because the the entity of banshees originated from like celtic mythology Mm -hmm. and the, the celts whenever they came over on uh whenever they migrated to the to the u.s and you know sought asylum here or whatever um 
they brought their myths and stories and allegories and, and what have you along with them. And a lot of them like sought refuge here in West Virginia. So it's, it's interesting to see like how a lot of their same stories and myths and fables and stuff like that from Celtic lore mythology. It's also, you know, it goes hand in hand with West Virginia folklore and like, uh, like our myths and fables and like uh, like creatures and stuff like that it all kind of meshes with the celtic fables and stuff Ooh. Ooh. all right so yeah th there's probably there's probably going to be more of this stuff throughout like our our music is just cuz i've always had like a weird fascination between like both like celtic lore mythology as well as like west virginia history and whatnot so yeah oh, cool um you know i hope that answers a little bit <laughs> what does it actually sounds like it would be a really nice precursor to the puritanical inquisition video uh, yeah I'm, i don't want to get into that song because it's not released yet um are you planning on releasing the song before the video or are those going to kind of go side by side um I'm pretty sure that what the guys, what the plan was that the other, uh, the bros, <laughs> uh, they, they want to release it along with the video. Okay. So I, I, I think that's, that's the wait is, uh, for July 1st, they're, they're going to drop the song with the video. So I could see that being a smart play. Um, yeah. You know, because people see the video and they are, you know, if they like the video, they're going to be more naturally drawn to the song. So, yeah, them looking for it on Spotify and all that stuff, you know, they'll, they'll more likely want to look for it if they have, a, especially with a visual to put to it. Um, right. Humans are visual beings, whether we like to admit it or not. <laughs> when you have something yeah. to see to put to it, you know, that, that, that helps. Right. As unfortunate as it as it can be, sometimes you're uh, you're right. <laughs> right. You're yeah, a bit very visual. Yeah. So um, yeah. Uh, again, this is uh, JB with Hazard Studios uh, behind the band segment. We've got Leon McGregor from a fitting end with us, the uh, lead singer, vocalist, and uh, composer, writer, all that stuff, well, content creator. I know he loves hearing that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can talk about the content creator. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Leon, uh, what are some influences, buddy? Uh, some bands you've listened to that might inspire, you know, how you write your lyrics, uh, how you do your vocals. You know, listen, I don't, listen JB, I, I don't, I don't listen to music anymore, JB. I, I'm, I listen to content. I don't, uh, most people do. Most, <laughs> most people take in the content, yes. Those 16 second Spotify clips they, or TikTok clips, they absolutely love them. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, in, influences. Uh, that's probably as weird as it may be to, to say. I actually haven't really been listening to a lot of uh, like it, like extreme metal. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. uh, as far as like my extreme metal influences go, it's mostly like like the MySpace days of uh like deathcore and death metal and stuff like that, where it's like uh like Carnifex and uh Job for a Cowboy. I don't listen to like all the old stuff like I like I listen to like their whole discography. I mean, but for the most part I stick to bands that got big like during the uh whole MySpace era. Um, but yeah, I, I like, uh, Joffrey Cowboy, Carnifex, uh, All Shall Parish. Um, I like, uh, um, The Contortionist. Um, I like, uh, Scale the Summit. Just, just like a lot of, I probably listen to like more like weird froggy stuff than the other guys do, I'd imagine. Right. Um, and I like uh, Viremia and some of the tech tech death stuff that's going on nowadays. Like I like uh, I like Viremia. I like um, I like Rings of Saturn. 
uh, there's this other tech death band that I'm, I'm fogging on the name of right now, but it's, it's got that one vocalist that he, he like raps and stuff like that. I guess like all the bands that I really gravitate to are like all the bands where there's like a strong vocal, you know what I mean? Like there, there's something interesting. There's like an interesting like dynamic that's going on with the vocals. You know what I mean, cause like Johnny Davey from Joffrey Cowboy, he's like, he was like one, like one of, if not the biggest, like, uh, voices in death chord and death metal. Or he's just, man, when he came on the scene, like he, he was just crazy. It, it was just like to another level. Like he took screaming to, to, to like another level, in my opinion. Right. Um, but I, I love Behemoth, of course. Like I've always been like a big Nurgle guy. I probably may sound pretentious to some people, but, um, but like, for the most part, I, I really haven't been listening to a lot of like extreme metal, like like on my free time. Um, I listen to a lot of like A Perfect Circle and stuff like that. And like okay. Tool, like I'm a, I'm a big Maynard James Keenan fan. And uh, <laughs> lately I've been listening to Fuel and like crappy bar metal <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> well, Opie yeah. might give me crap for that, but uh he's not there it's like okay. huh he's not there it's okay yeah it's okay you can have your you can have your lame opinion <laughs> um yeah of course sleep token you and i we're bit we're big on this on the sleep token craze as of late yeah, uh, yeah. big one um you know uh, i find that people that tend to like tool tend to like them as well i'm, I'm not sure what the connection is um Probably yeah. with well, the rhythmics. Well, I, I I like Tool, but I prefer a Perfect Circle like like significantly more than than Tool, just because like I don't know I guess I connect with the songs more. They they sound more like weird lullabies and stuff like with the melodies and whatnot. Like right. it's less might be weird to explain but it to me it sounds like less like hard rock or metal or alternative that like that that still is in there to a degree but to me like they sound more like weird lullabies or whatnot or like and i guess that that's what i like a lot is like just weird like spacey kind of uh i i like the like the forlorn feeling in some music and like me like melancholic or melancholy like i don't know i have like a weird obsession with that sort of sound like i like uh alter bridge a lot they have songs like that and seven dust and stuff it's like they're not just playing heavy metal like they can do that they can do heavy metal and like all the hard you know crazy stuff um and like the harsher vocals where like they're yelling and shouting and stuff but they can also, they also have like the soft rock side to it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I'm like all over the place or like eccentric in my taste. I'm, I'm, I'm the same way. Uh, I, I'm, I don't really fit into a genre that well as far as what I listen to. Yeah. You know. I, I, I always find myself coming back, like when it comes to like the extreme side of it, I always find myself coming back to extreme metal because it's just like uh i've always just enjoyed screaming you know what i mean like i'm still young i can still do it why not you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. i'm uh i have a healthy technique so as long as i'm not like <laughs> you know destroying myself in the process and i don't see any harm and 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 continuing to engage with it and uh you know, I've, I've been coming out and performing to your backing tracks for so long with like that evil, like really big epic orchestral sound. You know, it's like when, once I started is like it was almost like an addition. <laughs> it's like, man, you just you just can't shake it. <laughs> you just got to keep coming out, coming out, coming out. And just, huh? I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, dude. It's, it's always been like. uh it's just fun man like because it's got that like really sinister sound to it so you have to 
I always thought of like, how can I work this in to like a visual? You know what I'm saying? Cause like that, that was the thing for the longest time where it was like, uh, yeah, like everything's like really heavy and, and hits hard and like everything just sounds, you know, crazy and stuff. And like, there's that big orchestral sound, but like, what, where's the visual, you know what I'm saying? Accompanying it. Mm -hmm. And that was the thing that I, that I always couldn't, uh, like shake i guess i was like trying to think about like you know what what can i contribute more than just you know vocals or whatnot so i was like let's do some weird stuff like let's get half naked and dump a you know big gallon bucket of blood on me and just walk out and look like a you know like i, I don't know <laughs> right uh, just, just you know just go crazy with it have fun with it if you can't have fun with it don't do it yeah some some people think that that's like lame and like uh and, and you know to a degree i can see i can see the argument i can see it a little bit well from my, my perspective is i look at music as a business uh, yeah that's how I, that's how i view things but even as a business you know i want to be able to enjoy myself you know for instance right you guys have fun me, a little bit yeah you guys send me a track and you know I'm I'm completely fine when somebody says I want something specific. Um, I'll give them something specific, but if someone gives me, you know, says just do what you want to, um, there yeah. might be some surprises in there because I like to surprise myself. You know, uh, I, I end up having fun with something, and all of a sudden it's this. I, I change the entire track because I found that one lick that just really got me hooked into it. Yeah, and um, you know. Unless you're unless you're the guy making millions and millions of dollars a year by being told what to do, just enjoy yourself. Right. You only live one. And that, I guess that's what I'm definitely more about more than anything is just cutting loose and like it's like stretch, you know, stretching out and just doing all doing all the crazy stuff, which I, I think people I think that'll really communicate in the uh the video that we just shot because like I, I just went I just I tried to go as crazy as I could as far as the guys would let me and you know <laughs> I, put, I got I got the long crazy wig on and carrying around the lantern and doing all doing all the weird stuff and I got <laughs> I uh, I was like crawling I was uh, crawling around the creek and and we shot uh, on the second day of filming we we shot like some footage out there where I was like walking around barefoot on these at, like stones and the creek that is like covered with algae. So I was like slipping and sliding all over the place and crap. And I, I fell in the deep end of this Creek and uh, Matt actually caught it on slow-mo <laughs> with uh, the camera dude. So <laughs> this guy, Matt Napier somewhere has slow-mo footage of me falling into the deep end of the Creek, man. So that that'll probably be out there in the behind the scenes. Dude, the, the behind the scenes footage for this video is going to be probably better than the video itself. <laughs> uh, Matt Napier, if you're listening, please send that to me and I'll put it on every platform I'm on. We'll have it on TikTok. We'll have it everywhere and you'll get full credit, I promise. I just, I just want to see it. <laughs> Dude, I, was, I was saying uh, during the second day of uh, shooting, I was like, I was like, uh, but both collectively between Opie and Matt, like all the stuff that they recorded of me, like behind the scenes, they have so much blackmail on me at this point. <laughs> 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 they got so much blackmail on me. It's not even funny. Oh, God. I don't know those guys. I, I need to get in good with them. I need, need to get some stuff sent to me and <laughs> make some money off this. Hey, Leon. I don't, that's, that's not what I need to do right now. <laughs> Dude, dude, earlier I went to grab my wa my water and I didn't realize that the that the lid was already off of it. So I was just I like legit grabbed my water and went to like twist off the lid that was already like not on it. So that that'll be fun for people to see. Yeah. All right. Um real quick, uh what's your key future plans here? You know, are you guys planning on I know Opie mentioned maybe doing like a releasing three or four, then maybe doing an EP type thing, or release maybe one or two songs that were normal, be done before. Um, is that still in the works for you guys, or have you talked about it recently? Or I know you've been busy with the video and stuff like that. I was just curious. Yeah. Um, so they, they just, 
I just got like uh, the track for I, I just got uh, song three for like all, all the guitars and and drums and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And so I'm I I have like concepts and like some I told them earlier I was like I they're like I, they're just like so what's what's the progress on song three I was like well so far it's just like like lyrically it's just a bunch of loosely strung together you know stanzas and what have you so i'm in the midst of uh of hammering on song three but i think as far as i'm aware the the idea is to just release everything as singles right so there's like a continuous stream of content <laughs> <laughs> and uh <laughs> we're releasing a continuous stream of content and uh then the the plan from there is to i guess put out like a full ep or see see where we're at you know what i mean mm -hmm. and uh i know the guys want to play shows at some point i guess the thing is for me and I, i'm pretty sure the other dudes feel the same way is that if if there's a demand for the thing, then we'll do the thing. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, as long as we're putting out songs and there's people that are listening to it, and there's a demand uh, to see what we're doing live, then we'll go out and fulfill the demand. You know, so uh, so we're just gonna keep putting out songs and just sort of feeling out the waters like you know what do you guys feel about this one or what do you feel about that one and just uh you know and just see where things go from there i suppose all right well uh, hopefully you guys are able to get do that <clears throat> I, like i told opie last time I, I do think releasing songs one at a time is especially in today's climate is the best way to do it because you always have by the time people are tired of one thing, they're getting something fresh versus an entire album. All at yeah. once. Yeah, know? when you that that's really the way to do it. it. It's it seems like it seems like nowadays that's especially for your smaller guys like like us. Uh, it, it just seems like it just it just seems like a better you know strategy. It feels like because like when you go all in on an album, like that's, that's all your time and all of your resources and all of your efforts into, into one, into one sound, you know, and that can have its advantages. Right. Um, but I think for us right now at this uh, stage, uh, the whole one, like releasing singles sparsed out, you know, is uh probably the best way to go and we can kind of like build build our resources and like really drill down and and uh put put all that we can into one song mm -hmm. and really you know really polish it out and you know put it out and uh then go from there you know and then ho hopefully we'll, uh we'll bu bundle everything up into like an ep release and maybe go back and tweak things and do like you know fully mastered there, there's some things on banshee that's like for me uh there's like i was still kind of like the vocal techniques and stuff that i'm doing now is just it's just totally different like already like i've noticed um i know if i go back to like banshee nocturne it's like it's going to sound totally different in a good way <laughs> right well so, Leon, time is starting to run out here in case you didn't see that uh zoom i didn't pay for it it's a free version so I'm, i only have so much time to do these we're running on a shoestring budget guys <laughs> shoestring i can't afford a shoestring buddy what are you talking about <laughs> hey that's <laughs> the way i prefer to go man yeah man so um once again this is jb has your studios i'm with leon mcgregor uh singer for the band of fitting in leon before we go is there any last words you'd like to say anything shout out to somebody or anything um i want to shout out my man jb <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm gonna i'm gonna one up opie here i just want to say that owls are in fact birds and 
I can take, I can take on a, oh God, what, what's a, a, uh, a horse sized duck. And also the P the POV question. Um, I, I'm an, uh, I view myself as, as a willing participant. So only, only a very, only a very niche view will <laughs> understand anything that I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All okay. right. <laughs> People watch this right. like they're trying to unlock the Hellraiser puzzle box. Like, what? The What's that? Configuration. The people watching this feel like they have the lament configuration in their hand from Hellraiser. Like, what is this? I don't I don't understand what this <laughs> is. Right, I feel you. Wait, can, can you see the time limit right now? Because I can't see shit on my end. No, it just pops up and tells me I have like 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Oh, okay. We're down to like the last five. So the, the, the Zoom overlords are about to boot you off, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. And that's okay. If if we do a part two, we can do a part two. That's fine too. We're gonna have yeah. to get off this and start over. There we <laughs> go. That's the spirit. So, <laughs> no, Leon, thanks. For ha I appreciate you being on with us, buddy. I do really do appreciate it. And I'll tell you what, absolutely. Man. Best of luck with what's going on, uh, you guys. Puritanical Inquisitions. Hopefully out July first. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. If not, I'll keep you updated. I'm sure they'll keep you updated. Real quick, last last chance, Leon. Where can we find your all's music at? Um, we're basically on all the social medias. Um, we're on Facebook at uh if you just search for a fitting end. Some things are under a fitting in band. Okay. Um, but for the most part, I think we're able to just to just get a fitting in. But yeah, we're on to we're on TikTok. Um uh we're on we're on youtube tiktok uh facebook snapchat instagram um uh, are you on spotify by chance spotify yeah yeah we we, we have a, we have banshee nocturne uh up on streaming for spotify and uh i think we're on but does google have a thing google music i know amazon and like itunes yeah. and stuff so we're, we're up on there as well uh so what you didn't see was Zoom decided that the meeting time was over. So when we went back for a sign off with Leon, well, this is what we got. Okay, so um, Zoom cut me off. We're back for the send off, and as you can see, Leon has been underwent a costume change. He is now right. he is now a bunny from outer space. Y'all didn't know it yet, but rabbits are metal, guys. Rabbits are metal. Well, that sounds like a nice concept album. There, there you go. There, <laughs> there's your challenge. Rabbits are metal. <laughs> what if I can get it to get to? No, it's not gonna. It's not gonna disappear. We're stuck like this. All right. <laughs> this album rolling out, baby. <laughs> Oh, okay, Leon. So we were saying you can find you guys on all major streaming platforms. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure we got we got a social media like like everywhere at this point. Like I know we got a TikTok, we got a Snapchat, we got Facebook. We're on uh, anything but MySpace. It seems like <laughs> we may even have a MySpace. I just haven't checked yet. Um, if but yeah, you do, can... I'll be impressed. <laughs> I'll make it myself. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, I think we're pretty we're pretty much on everything as a fitting end. Uh, there, I I think one of them is like under a fitting in band, um, and for for streaming, uh, for for the songs on Spotify, we're just we're just a fitting end, and I'm pretty sure we're under iTunes as a fitting end. Okay. So. There you go, folks. Go buy the songs. Go listen to them. Stream it on bye, Spotify. Bye, bye. Somebody be this guy's Elmer Fudd, would you? Just somebody, <laughs> somebody chase him with a shotgun. See see how that turns out. I was thinking about doing an impression, but uh, feel free. This this, <laughs> this is this is your time to shine, buddy. I don't know if I can get it to go right now. He's trying, folks. Uh I said he's trying. He he he'll get it. I have faith in you, Leon. Yeah. 
You Wesley Wabbit. No, I can't do it. <laughs> it's some other voice. Yeah, he should have made a left at Albuquerque. Yeah, I could have. All right. Well, have. well Leon, buddy, thanks for being on here with me. Thanks for doing these, man. I appreciate it. I ain't no problem. We'll try and get you guys as many eyes as possible. All right, buddy? Yep. All right. We'll talk to you later. Guys, Leon McGregor, a fitting end, vocalist. Check them out. Every yep. major streaming platform you can find them. Um, if you can't find it under a fitting end, type in Banshee Nocturne. I don't know any other song that has a title like that. So, he's here. Tantical Inquisition's out next month. Out next month. And he is... Folks, I promise you he's not been drinking. He he, he, he he worked hard all day. And he went down the rabbit hole. Folks, see you, Leon. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm Hope trying to get my rabbit ears to pop up. <laughs> <laughs>